Well, good morning, everyone. How are you? It's been a it's been a long time since someone's called me Mr. Bose. <laughs> Absolutely ecstatic to be here today. Uh, just really enjoyed to see the room full. I can feel the energy, and we're gonna have a great day. Um, a little bit about me. I made a decision a long time ago to work on behalf of my community, to work where I live, where I play, because of my interest in working towards a better place, right? So I'm gonna bring a little bit of that perspective today, and um, I'm hoping we can all share that perspective. How many were here in, last night and heard, heard Bob talk? Okay, about half the room. Bob talked about the hard work of hope. I'm gonna kind of elaborate a little bit on that theme throughout the day. And I'm gonna talk more about, you know, the, what, is, what is hard work? For me, there's a lot of hard work. There's hard work every day on behalf of my community to try to make things better. But it's good work. It's hard, but it's good. It's rewarding. You feel good about doing it. And we all go through these challenges in our daily lives with facing hard work and all of that. But the other thing that Bob mentioned is, is the hard work is better, easier, and more fun if we coalesce, find other people to share the burden with us. Because then the joy is that much greater, right? So that's about it, my background. Um, first, uh, engineers in the room. Put your hands up, engineers. Uh, biologists, uh, community stewards, there we go. How many geologists? What? That's a first. <laughs> so you, know, you and I, we're going to have to watch each other's back a little bit, right? <laughs> it is unusual to find a geoscientist mixing it up with the, the fish people the pipe the pipe people but i actually think it's the best of both worlds right we know a little bit about rocks dirt flow we know a little bit about fish so we can kind of we can kind of bs the other two into thinking we know what we're doing right <laughs> we can get things done that way okay i'm going to introduce our first two speakers today um the first speaker I put a post out last night that basically says, words can't explain how good it is to see my mentor here today with us. Every group, every community steward group, every project, every team needs what we call the sheepdog. The sheepdog is that person who just runs around the edges, never tires, always happy, yips and snipes, and, but in a friendly way, keeps, keeps the herd on track, moving towards your goal with the destiny in mind, right? It's critical. You look at all high-performing sports teams, work groups, community groups, there's always this person around. Kim Stevens is this person for the partnership. He's this person for me. And we're we're really thrilled and lucky to have Kim here to give our uh, keynote address. Kim has been a water resource engineer for probably well over 30 years. I met him through my work, how long ago? 15, 20 years? I think it's about 20 years ago, yeah. So 20 years, Kim and I have shared this vision around the hard work, sharing it, and trying to make things better, right? So Kim's gonna give our keynote address this morning. We're just really happy to have you here. Absolutely. So right after Kim, we're gonna hear from another person that's quite special to me because this person and myself have literally shared my entire 25 year career at the District of North Vancouver. Zoanne Morton is going to come up after Kim and she's going to talk about her experience 
with Streamkeeper groups, her work with the Pacific Streamkeeper Federation, and we're going to hear of Zoanne's experience in bringing community groups from active day trip outings where a few people go to the local stream and learn about life in this stream to where she's brought the North Shore Stream Keepers group to the where they are actually this year we struck a partnership with the group where they're actively collecting detailed water quality sampling data that the municipality is using for our integrated watershed monitoring plans. So that's the level of growth that Zoanne's been able to achieve with these local community groups. So we're really lucky to have her here, especially when I see how much of the audience is connected to the community through stewardship. So we're really lucky to have Zoanne Morton here on behalf of the Streamkeeper groups, the Streamkeeper Federation. We've worked together 25 years on different projects involving the North Shore watersheds. So Zoanne, thanks for making the trip over. Looking really forward to hearing what you have to say. So without further ado, Kim Stevens. <laughs> 